Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, as I'm sure you can all tell by the title, today I'm going to be shifting to Hogwarts. So if you guys don't know what shifting is, let me look it up on my laptop. It says on here, I'll leave it like on the screen so you guys can read it as well. Shifting is moving your consciousness from one reality to another. So you guys may have seen it on TikTok recently because TikTok is kind of like where I mostly learned about it. I also learned it from someone called Sophia Accolade. I'll leave her channel on the screen as well. I would recommend, if you if you don't know anything about shifting realities, I would recommend watching like someone else's videos a bit more experienced on it. But basically you can shift anywhere you want. I personally am going to be shifting to Hogwarts, which you guys would have seen from the title. But you can shift anywhere. You can shift to Hogwarts. You can shift to like, just your, it's like your desired reality. It's like your dream world. You can shift to, which I think is amazing. But in today's video, I'm going to be writing my script. I'm going to be talking about which method I'm going to try using first. And I'm also going to be um, preparing to shift and shifting for the first time, which I'm so excited about. So without further ado, let's get on the video okay so as i said i'm gonna be writing my script today so i have already kind of like planned out my script on these bits of paper i got this notebook from Derek smith and i actually decorated it myself so it was just like a plain notebook but what i did was i did little collages on the front and then also on the back just so it can help me to visualize more um, I've also printed off a few photos, but I want to print out some more because in your script you can just write, you can just do photos, you can make it like scrapbooking, you can do whatever. And I want to do a mixture of writing and photos because actually seeing things really helps me to visualise. I kind of want it just to go with the flow and I want... I don't want to like have planned everything that's going to happen out. You can do it if you want to, but personally, I just I want it to feel like I'm actually there. Obviously, in my current reality, I don't know what's going to happen. So in my desired reality or dear, I don't want to know what's going to happen. My photos are now all printed. I've got these ones. Also, I'll go into detail them a little while. These ones, and then that one. For the first page, what I want to do is just simply put. I am shifting to Hogwarts and then put some pictures of Hogwarts. So I'm going to find all the Hogwarts pictures that I've printed. And I'm just going to put on the top, I am shifting to Hogwarts. Obviously I know where I'm shifting to, but I just kind of want to, I don't know, write it all down. Page one is now complete. I've just stuck those four pictures down of the castle and then like the Quidditch pitch and then like one of the like um, the main kind of hallway bit. Now I'm going to do about like how I look I guess and like my and like my personality and my appearance and stuff like that. The first thing of course is my name so I'm going to keep my name as my name. And then nicknames because obviously like if you want your friends to call you certain things. So my name like my first name is Charlie Rose but like majority of people call me Charlie. Um, so I'm going to put most people call me Charlie but I also have other nicknames as well. So like my friends might have certain nicknames for me or stuff like that. So, okay and then my age so I'm going to say that I'm 15 at the start because in my DR I'm doing it so that like I'm arriving at Hogwarts for my fifth year so I'm going to say I'm 15 at the start because I'm currently 15 now and my birthday I would have just turned 15. And for my birthday I'm going to stick to my normal birthday but for the birth year I have to put 1980 because I want to go to the era that like Harry and Hermione and all that lot were in otherwise if I don't put that I think I might just end up in my era and I won't like none of them will be there. I was actually contemplating whether I should be in Harry's year or whether I should be in Ginny's year because I wanted to be good friends with Ginny but I thought that then the twins if I'm in Ginny's year the twins will be three years older than me but if I'm in Harry's year they'll only be like was it one year old or two years old? I can't remember. Um, but I didn't want them to be too much older than me. So yeah, but I'm still going to be friends with Ginny. But I'm just going to be in the same year as Harry. I'm then going to put that I'm five foot four because I'm five foot four. I'm then putting that I have a fast metabolism because I have a fast metabolism anyway in my CR. But like, I want to keep that and make sure that stays because I like that about me. So yeah, I want to make sure that stays. So I'm just going to, just to make sure that I have a fast metabolism. And then I'm going to put that I look the exact same as I do in my CR. Because you can change exactly how you look and you can look exactly how you want. You can look like a whole different person. But to make it feel more realistic for myself, I feel like I want to look the same. Um, but I'm going to say that I don't have braces. Because if I say I look the exact same, I have braces. But I'm pretty sure in that era, they don't have braces. Like, they don't, there's no such thing as braces. So I need to, I'm going to put that in brackets. <laughs> my personality is the exact same as in my CR because... I just want to stay the same, so I'm going to say my personality is the same. So I'm then saying that I'm from a muggle family because I was contemplating whether to be part of the Lupin family or if to have my same family that I have now. But I'm kind of scared that if I have a different family, I'll miss my family from this reality. So I feel like if I just do that, then I can like send owls to them and stuff. So 
I'm gonna say that I'm a muggle and I have the same family that I have now. I know a lot of people change and say they're like half blood or pure blood because of like Draco Malfoy, but I've changed something about that in a little while, so I'm gonna put this now. Okay, so next up is my scent. So for my scent, I'm saying vanilla, cinnamon, and flowers because for um Amortentia, I think that's how you say it, um, they often smell like a few different things. So just in case I want to say that I smell like three things, I put vanilla, cinnamon, and flowers. I actually don't know how you spell cinnamon, so I'm going to have to ask you. Cinnamon. Okay. So next up is my house. So I'm going to be in Hufflepuff because that is the house that I'm in now. And then I'm going to get the Hufflepuff little like thingamajig and stick that in. So I'm now going to write my skills and hobbies which I've put flying, quidditch, reading and then I've also put dancing and singing because I do that in my CR and I want to keep that. And then I'm putting my subjects I take so I'm now going to write all that down. So for my pet I've got a pet owl and I printed off this picture because I wanted a barn owl. Um, and I've not actually decided on a name so what I'm going to say is that I'm going to name my owl when I see her because with me I have to like see things to be able to name them so I'm going to say that I have to have seen my owl to name it. I'm actually gonna quickly go and have a break because it's now two o'clock. I need to and grab some lunch. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so your girl is back. I know I said I'll be back in like a little while but it's actually been like an hour and a half but it's fine. So um I had my lunch and it's actually starting to get dark now. yet is that um before i actually go to bed and shift i want to write what's going to happen like the first time i go because the first time i shift i want to wake up on i kind of thinking about waking up on the train um on the hogwarts express and like um hermione will like nudge me or hermione will like tap me and tell me that like we're there anyways i'm going to go through my script and to show you what i've written so far i've not done too much because i don't want it to be too detailed like i said but obviously i've got like this which i showed before I've got that i'm shifting to hogwarts i've then got my personal stuff that i showed before and then i've got my skills and my hobbies and then i put like a couple of pictures of some things on there and then I've got the subjects I take, and then and then I put academics, I'm quite smart, I've got my pet, and then I've got my friends, and I put on the top, I become good friends with all these people during my time at Hogwarts. I've got Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Ginny on this page. And then I've got Fred and George Weasley, Luna Lovegood, Dean Thomas, Neville Longbottom, and Cedric Diggory. And I also put, I've got a group of Hufflepuff friends, because it's like, Cedric is like the only Hufflepuff on there, so I want to have some more Hufflepuff friends as well. And the next page, I've kind of just written a load of stuff. So I'll read you a couple of them, but I won't read like all of them. So I've got like, I'm already sorted into Hufflepuff. And I put houses are allowed in each other's common rooms. Because obviously like I'm friends with quite a lot of people in different houses. So I want to be able to go in their common rooms. Um, I can remember everything that happens in my DR. I'll remember that I've shifted. My DR will pause when I leave. In my DR, I'll have a watch that tells me the time of my CR. So like I know when I have to wake up and stuff. No one can die or feel extreme pain in my DI, including myself. I can only feel small amounts of pain. I cannot get expelled or sent to Azkaban. And I can navigate my round, my way around Hogwarts. Then I've got, I have infinite I have infinite money and clothes. I have good style. And then I also put, if I take Verita Serum, I'll not expose my CR. Um, I learned the difference between Fred and George. I can fly a broomstick really well. I already know everything I would have learned in previous years at Hogwarts. Because I don't want to arrive there and not know anything. So, yeah. Um, I'm on the Hufflepuff Quidditch team. Nobody's in a relationship when I arrive. Um, there is a ball held at Hogwarts every year because obviously I've gone past the Yule Ball because that would have been my fourth year but I'm now in fifth year so I want it to be a ball every year because I think that would be quite fun. I also put Draco Malfoy doesn't hate muggles because you know I want to meet Draco um, and obviously I'm a muggle so I don't want him to hate me so I kind of put that he doesn't hate muggles. Um, and then I put nobody judges me and I feel at home because I feel that's really important. And then I just kind of put my safe action and what I'll smell when I arrive and how I'll know I'm in my CR and the time difference. So I put my safe action is I'll touch my head twice with the intention of going back to my CR. When I arrive in my DR, I'll smell I'll smell cinnamon swirl, cinnamon rolls. I'll know that I'm in my DR because I'll feel tapping on my right arm. And one hour in my CR is one day in my DR. People do all sorts of different times, but like I wanted it to be quite like I didn't want it to be like one hour was like 
one year because then it'll go really fast. I don't want it to go fast. So for the last page I've written so far, I put how I'll look for my fifth year ball. So I've got my dress, and for my dress, it's this greeny emerald colour, because like this colour looks really good with my hair. Um, it's like long with a slit, and then like a waistband, and then it's like um, lacy bit in the top. And then my hairstyle is going to be like this, it's going to be down, but with like a plait. My makeup is this, it's a natural and glowy, and then my shoes are this. I know these shoes are quite childish, they're actually from New Look, but it's because I've I don't wear heels, the only time I ever wear heels is when I have to wear heels for dance, other than that I don't wear them, so I just wanted some simple ones. So it's about an hour or so later now, probably like an hour and a half later, and I've just run myself a bath because I'm now about to start winding down for like the evening I guess, I mean it's literally like half five but still. I'm going to a little bath drawer, and I'm going to be using my Hufflepuff bath bomb, you know, keeping in the Harry Potter theme. Gone in. book that I got for Christmas and I'm actually going to be using this to write down all of my shifting stories so every time I shift I want to write down what happens so I can maybe make videos of my shifting stories and like TikToks and stuff and just remember it all in general. So I've just got out of my bath and got in my Harry Potter PJs I got for Christmas. I've just been called down for dinner though so I do actually need to go and have my dinner now. I'm going to also chuck a hoodie on and brush my hair. When I came out the bath I could smell korma and onion bhajis and bliss. Good vibrations right now. So guys, it's a lot later on now, and the time is currently 23 minutes past 10. And I'm drinking lots of water, get those vibrations up, get that energy up. I'm just drinking loads, and I'm going to start getting ready for bed. So I'm going to do like my normal night routines, I'm going to like brush my teeth, do my skincare and stuff. And I'm going to finish my script, like what I want, what's going to happen when I arrive in my DR, just because it's like fresh in my mind. So I've just posted a TikTok. Go share it some love guys. So I've now put my phone down for the night so I'm now not going to go on my phone. I have just done a bit of manifestation and also talking to the universe. I am just about to read a little bit of my book because I'm actually currently on Order of the Phoenix and that is the year that I'm going into fifth year so I might just sort of be good if I read a bit of this before I go to bed. So I've just written my script for the first time I shift so I'll read you what I've written. So I put on the top my first time shifting. Then I put the first t the first time I shift, I'll be on the Hogwarts Express on the way for my first day of fifth year. Um, I just put Hermione wrong, I should have changed that. Okay. Um, Hermione, Ron and Harry will be in the same compartment as me because I was asleep and they couldn't find an empty one. I'll open my eyes to Hermione, by the way, I'm aware that I spelled Hermione wrong twice. I'll open my eyes to Hermione tapping my right arm to wake me up as we'll have arrived at Hogwarts. Harry, Ron and Hermione will all introduce themselves and so will I. This is where our friendship will start. And this is a guided shifting meditation by someone called Ellie SM, which um, um, was recommended to me. And this is one for the Raven Method because that's what I'm going to be trying today. So as I said, I'm going to be doing the Raven Method and I'm also going to be mixing it with the Pillow Method because the Pillow Method is very simple, which is where you put your script underneath your pillow and go to sleep. But the Raven Method is where you count from 1 to 100 and like every like 5 or so numbers you do um, affirmations like I have shifted, shifting is easy, I'm shifting to Hogwarts and stuff like that. And you keep on doing that until you get to 100 and if you're at 100 and you still don't feel like you've shifted yet or you're getting close or whatever then you carry on going up until you start feeling like sensations and stuff and feeling like you've shifted. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to shift tonight. I'm so excited. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you all. Hey guys, so it is now the next day and I'm going to tell you all what happened last night. I'm going to be doing it whilst I get ready. First things first, unfortunately I did not shift. Um, but you know, it's totally fine because it was my first time trying. So like, it's actually totally fine that I didn't shift because it's my first time trying. And it's kind of just like getting used to it today. I feel like just like kind of knowing what it's going to be like. And I like each time I try and shift. So basically what happened was I did the 30 minute like guided meditation thing. And I was doing that and after the first few minutes I already started to feel symptoms. Like my um like I kind of not I think I didn't feel dizzy. I didn't feel dizzy but like Hey guys, I'm just gonna ignore how I look right now. But I didn't actually finish explaining myself here. So basically what I was saying was that I didn't feel dizzy but like I kind of felt like things around me moving a little bit. Um and then my hands started to go a bit tingly along with like my arms, especially my right arm, which is I thought it was quite cool because my right arm was meant to be the one that I felt someone tapping me on when I got there kind of thing. So yeah, I kind of just felt a bit tingly and a bit like spinny kind of thing but yeah for some reason i lost that bit of footage and where it went but yeah those symptoms kind of carried on for like a little while but like i kept on like going in and out of like all my shifting and then coming back kind of i'm not coming back but like i don't know what i felt i've never it was kind of strange and then the annoying thing is that i felt my guided meditation start to come to an end 
and I didn't want it to finish because I knew that if it finished then I probably would just fall asleep so I was like what do I do like I don't know if to just let it finish or if to put the next one on and then I was like you know what I'm, I'm like now I'm thinking about it too much so like I don't want to get further away from where I was because if I think about it too much so I just opened my eyes and then decided to put the next meditation on but I put it back on again and then I kind of feel like at that point I just started getting really tired and like a couple of the symptoms came back, like my arms went numb, but that was probably about it. I think it was about 25 minutes through the meditation. I like rolled over and I just like went straight to sleep. Um, but I thought I got like, obviously it's really good for my first time. I already felt like all those symptoms. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to try shifting again tonight or if I'm going to wait till tomorrow just because I'm quite tired. And also I woke up feeling different this morning. Like I didn't wake up feeling high. I don't know, know how to describe it, but... I didn't feel as I normally do when I wake up in the morning, so I just felt a bit different. Okay, so I'm back now from my mum um, going to get her the image. Um, I've also realised I'm feeling so, so tired today. I don't know if that's like to do with me like last night or if it's just some tired in general, but yeah. Also, the package that arrived earlier, I thought I would just show you because I am going to be including it in like more shifting videos, which we'll see why in a minute, but I just thought I would show you. This is the package and it is from a brand called Unique Wick and it says Dear Charlie Rose, thank you for your purchase and also a massive thank you for your support. I'm so happy that there are such young but very nice and friendly people like you. I'm so glad I've met you. Enjoy your candles, love. Um, Laurie. And honestly, it's so, so lovely. So um, I found this online. I found this small business on Etsy. Honestly, her candles I fell in love with and I like I DM'd her on Instagram about one of them that I was interested in because I kind of wanted to know a little bit more about it and the scent and stuff. Um, and she was so so lovely and then she said that she'd love to send me an extra candle for free which was so lovely of her and she was like really really easy to like communicate with and everything so I thought I would just show you guys in the video this packaging is adorable it's this little like foamy this little like I don't know what it's called with little gold stars which is adorable first of all there's two freebies there is a Snickers and I literally just ate a Snickers I, I love Snickers and then there is a little packet of Harry Bow sweets which is so lovely and then the first candle that I got was this candle here which is the if you can see the smells like magic and what i really love about her candles is that for each one you can choose your scent there's like loads of different scents you can choose from and i choose baked cookie because i oh <laughs> i choose baked cookie because i feel like that's kind of what reminds me of hogwarts the most it's also this one which is the one that she sent me for free she literally she let me pick any of the any candle from her website that i wanted and i chose this smells like harry styles one and it's a watermelon um it's watermelon sugar scent and this one again smells incredible it's like such like a happy scent if you go know i mean and i love this one as well but she's only a small brand but you can tell how much effort she puts into everything and it's just amazing i'd 100 percent recommend ordering from her anyways so i think i'm gonna end this video here um as i said thank you so so much to laurie from unique wick for um sending me a free candle and i'm so so excited to try out both the candles but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and also go there and subscribe. And I'll see you all very, very soon.